As Iranians prepare to go to the polls, some human rights advocates outside the country have already chosen their favorite candidate. So imagine a world where a woman is elected Iran's next president. The candidate's name is Zahra, the heroine of a hugely popular graphic novel. Human rights groups are promoting her virtual candidacy not only to lobby for a fair election, but for equal rights for Iranian women. While Iranian women do have the right to vote, to work, to drive, to get an education and to be elected to parliament, they cannot run for the presidency. And in a court of law, they are considered half the value of a man, literally, as I've reported often from Iran. Zahra's campaign may be virtual, but very real, real women that I've met there have been fighting the good fight for years. Like Shirin Ebadi, for instance, a lawyer, Iran's first female judge under the Shah, and as of 2003, Nobel Peace Laureate, a prize that she won for fighting for women's and children's rights. And yet, as she told me, she too is subject to injustice in the court system. I have been a judge and a lawyer for 35 years. I teach law at university and I won the Nobel Peace Prize. But the court here will not admit my testimony unless it's backed by another woman. But the man who cleans my office can testify on his own, even though he's illiterate. In a fundamentalist society, can there be women's rights? Women and men can enjoy equal rights only with a modern interpretation of Islam. Fundamentalism promotes a male-dominated culture. And I also met Shadi Ghadirian, an Iranian photographer and now an internationally acclaimed artist. She uses her camera to expose the stereotypes of a culture that all too often squashes the aspirations of its women. What are you trying to say with this? What's the message? To me, it looks like women have a boring life. All they do is make tea, iron clothes, brush the floor and no, it's cook. Somehow objection uh, that's uh, to the women that always they repeat these things every day and they don't think about it they are like a machine like a machine this election may change the man at the top in Tehran but it's only when all Iranian citizens including its women truly have the opportunity to lead as well as dream that real progress will come to the country